Dude, this cult guy is so bad. I will chase the night. Race all of these broken dreams and flight. I will fly. So what is up guys, Joker Gaston here. Um, why am I not too far? Alright, actually, hold up, I, I really need to use the bathroom. Just give me five seconds, guys. I know I probably should have done this before, but I really need to use the bathroom. So just five, five seconds, please. Oh, all right, that's better. Put these bad boys back on. And then I get double raid. You can't really complain about that. So all of you beautiful people right now are actually watching my thrust RC slash contest response. Now I'm not gonna pretend like this is a response. I'm basically just gonna record a video like I normally do for my channel. And hopefully you guys enjoy. And if you don't, then, um, well, I mean, I guess fuck me. Now today I'm actually gonna be telling you guys a pretty funny little story. Now, I don't know if I should be making this my RC response, I guess. Since you know it might have some legal issues. But you know what? I'm just doing it for the sake of entertainment. Now today I'm going to be telling you guys a story of the first time that I ever stole something and how I kind of got caught but not really. But the funniest part isn't the fact that I actually stole something, it's actually what I actually stole. Now keep in mind that at this time, maybe you know I wasn't a 16, 13 year old, I was probably around 11 years old. So I kind of understood the ceiling was wrong, but at the same time I just had to have this one thing. And I actually want to say that again, this is the first time that I ever stole something that I remember. Because let's be honest, sometimes as children we, you know, maybe we're at a candy store or something and we saw something that we really really wanted and at that moment you know you're young you don't know what's wrong and right so you don't know like oh if i just take this because i want it it's wrong it's stealing they're just like i see something i want it i'm gonna take it so you know this doesn't include any tic tacs that i stole any packs of gum so starting off the story this little event actually happened in spain not even in the united states where i live now the whole reason as to why i was in spain in the first place is actually because my cousins and my aunt live there so that's basically the whole reason why i was there just visiting my cousins and my aunt and i remember on this trip we actually went on a walk down a street that had some you know stores on the side just you know a road with a sidewalk and then on the side of the road were just a bunch of stores stacked up next to each other or lined up next to each other I guess not stacked up on top of each other that's stupid and this kid just kills last all right it's all good it's all good and fuck me I don't want trick shot anyway but yeah and some of these stores that were on the side of the street on the sidewalk actually had some things on the sidewalk itself like right outside the front door of the store itself obviously you know they weren't gonna put anything too expensive out outside on the street just in case people for some reason did decide to steal it you know it obviously wouldn't affect them too much so you know they had some little souvenirs some pictures and stuff so we were walking down the side walk and I see it. Now before I actually tell you guys what it is that I saw, I'm actually gonna fill you in on a little something. Now this trip took place probably in like late October and I had a friend whose birthday was in November. November 6th to be exact. Now obviously I was in Spain for a vacation. I wasn't thinking of, you know, going to Spain to get him a present for his birthday. Holy shit, this lag is real. Kick him, kick him, kick him. There we go. The host migration system on Black Ops 2 is actually pretty decent. Although it's normally me that it's kicking because it, you know, gives me a host and then it just realizes, oh no, you have fucking shitty ass connection. Goodbye. But you know, it's good. You don't have to sit in the lobby with a host that has absolutely horrible connection and just ruining it for everyone else. Even if that horrible host is yourself. So continuing with the story now that you guys know that. Ah, uh, okay, like you can calm down now, the connection is fine. I, I, was, I was me, I was host, wasn't it? Nope, okay, oh, there I go, I go, let's fucking go, over and over again. Host migration after host migration. This time it was definitely me. No, not me, is this just gonna fucking kick everyone out? No, all right, just a few other people. All right, it's all good. So now that you guys know that, you will actually understand why it is that I had to have this thing that I saw. So again, walking down the street, so automatically when I saw this thing I knew that I just had to have it. it had to be the present that I was gonna give this friend of mine so this thing that I actually saw it was actually well how, how do I put this I guess it was primarily a lighter you know just a regular lighter the ones that you like go like that and it just lights up but I mean that that actually isn't why I wanted this thing now the whole reason why I actually wanted this lighter was actually for its case or for the thing that was actually holding the lighter again I want to clarify that this was not for me it was a present for my friend so pretty much long story short the case that was actually holding the lighter was in fact a Penis. Huh. I was at last. Good to know. See, I, whenever I do get into these stories, into telling my stories, I just completely forget what I'm doing and uh, I fuck up like this. Oh well, I was lagging pretty hard anyway. Now this penis case, it wasn't just any normal penis case. Although I don't really know what a normal penis case looks like because I've never really, you know, seen a penis case other than this one. Like it was literally a penis with like on the back part, I guess it had a hole and then the lighter just sat in it. I know, crazy, right? Now I was forced to make a decision. Little immature 10, 11, maybe 12 year old me needed to have this. I needed to have it 
in order to take back to the United States and give to my friend for his birthday present. So you guys could probably imagine what I did. Now the penis was probably about like this big, so you know it wasn't like a huge thing like this big. Like it was like this big, and you know they had a lighter that probably went inside like halfway, and then it just had the rest of the penis, I guess. Also, I'm just casually yelling penis out in my dorm when you know probably everyone can hear and is really confused because I know these walls are not soundproof. So you guys can imagine what I did next. Well, my parents and I think my sister was there too. They were just you know casually cruising inside the store. I was just pretending to check out the merchandise that was sitting right outside in the front of the store. You know, there were some pictures, some keychains, some simple things, and then there were these dick lighters. So I was casually, you know, pretending to look through, and then whenever I got the chance, I grabbed it, and I don't remember exactly where I put it. I might have put it in my pocket, or you know, I don't know. I just, I grabbed it, I took it, I hid it, and we went home. Now again, it was a present for my friend, and I really wasn't interested in the lighter itself. I was just, you know, very interested in giving him a penis for his birthday. Again, immature, 10, maybe 11, 12 year old me, you know, I just thought it'd be hilarious. <laughs> But you know, still to this day, I think it would have been pretty fucking funny. So we got back home. I grabbed this little dick lighter thingy-ma-bob. I took out the lighter because I didn't want the lighter. I think I wrapped it up in like a shirt or put it in a sock or something, and I put it right into my suitcase. Because like I said, I wanted to take it back to the United States and give it to my friend. I wasn't just going to walk around holding a dick lighter case in my hand. So I just put it in my suitcase, and I just left it there. So a few days go by, and it's finally time for me to go back home. So in my mind, I'm like, all right, I'm set. I got all my shit. I got the dick lighter in the suitcase. I'm good. going to get home. I'm going to get my suitcase. Gonna get the dick lighter, gonna put it somewhere else, and then I'll be fine, and then I'll give it to my friend, it'll be fucking hilarious. Now that's where the problem came in. So right when I got back home, I got my suitcase, I went somewhere private, I opened it up, I went to grab my penis case, and guess what? You guys guessed it, the penis case was not there. And I know that it couldn't have fallen out because I literally like put it like in a sock under like a bunch of clothes, like there was no way it could have fallen out. And then the thought just swerved right into my head, and I was like, Fuck. It had to be my parents. So I'm guessing that last minute my parents went through my suitcase just putting some last minute things in there because you know sometimes they just buy too many things that doesn't fit in their suitcases. And then they end up going to my suitcase fucking cramming a bunch of shit that isn't mine in there which I did actually manage to find when I opened the suitcase. And I'm guessing while they were cramming all their shit in there they just found a little happy surprise. You'll learn what a long dick look like today. Now to this day I have absolutely no idea what happened to the penis case. And you better fucking believe I didn't go and ask my parents yo guys like what happened to my penis case that was in my suitcase. My parents never mentioned it. So obviously, you know, I wasn't going to mention it. I can only imagine what my parents were thinking when they found this little penis case in my suitcase. And believe me, I have zero plans on asking them and figuring out what exactly they were thinking because I'm pretty sure I know what they were thinking. <laughs> Gay! But anyway guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. Just a little funny story of the first time that I ever stole anything and me actually getting caught. Just a little recap, no, I have not seen the penis case since that day. And my friend went through one sad birthday without a present that year. And most of you probably don't notice, but if I hit a shot or a clip recently, I like to put them at the end of my videos, just, you know, for entertainment purposes, for those people that do enjoy Call of Duty trick shots and stuff. So I thought, you know, why not bring the full effect of my videos into this video? So here you go guys, a nice little shot that I hit. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, I actually hit. Let's fucking go. That was nice. I don't know exactly how far the guy was because I kind of overspun a little, little bit. But where was he? Where was he? Please don't be right in my face. Where the fuck was he? That was actually really fucking sick. So as always, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to drop a like. If you enjoyed my videos overall, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next week in my next video. Peace out, guys. I got milk everywhere. Holy shit. Yo, what is up, Cult Rising? It's Blur here, and today I'm going to be doing my Thrust RC responsive video. This is actually going to be a Hot Sauce Death Challenge. So if you guys don't know what the Hot Sauce Death Challenge is, it's pretty much I find a free for all lobby, and every time I die, I have to take a sip of this hot sauce. Freaking hate this hot sauce, honestly. I don't know why, but there's like not a toxic like logo on this, because this should be recognized as toxic or some sort of like death hot sauce. I don't even know. This shit's hot, okay? That's all I'm going to say. This is for emergency purposes only if this gets way too freaking hot so this is just gonna be like a warm-up game for me a lot of you guys don't know who i am so actually i'm gonna introduce myself here a little bit my name's blur people call me marnie rl name you can say like it's just pretty much a nickname i'm 16 years old i'm from a sheep shagging country called new zealand yeah we do get called sheep shaggers a lot because i don't know why like probably because we've got so many freaking sheep i don't know the actual statistics because i don't really pay attention to you know like 
wanting to know how many sheep we have in our country. Who the fuck does it? It's pretty sad if you have to count up all that sheep or some shit. Like, I know it's obviously like just an estimation, but who has time for that shit? I don't get it. For all you Americans, Canadians, or whatever country you're from, other than like the NZ and AU community, no, New Zealand's not a part of Australia, alright? Like, it's two freaking separate countries. So many people say we're like the same country. Some guy the other day said, like, do I live in Sydney because, you know, it's New Zealand and I don't know, that's in Australia, alright? For fuck's sake. Like, I don't live in Sydney. Vote standoff, guys. Oh, cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers. That's how you can change your map in an instant, you know? You just put in your mic, you just ask them. Are you f- Well, I guess I gotta take this lid off. Got it off. There we go. Oh. Oh. That smell is so strong. It's actually disgusting. Oh, fuck. Are you f- Fuck's sake. Oh, yep. Yeah. Whoa. My face feels like it's burning. I'm not even kidding. I'm playing it so safe right now. Alright, let's go. <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, this is so hot. Took three sips. Are you serious? I'm using my pistol. I don't even care. Oh! <laughs> Be advised, hostile counter UAV is. <sighs> I'm getting so pissed off right now. My tongue, my intestines, my everything. Levi FN, why? <sighs> I regret this so much. No, no. Ah! I'm so happy. Oh shit. Oh! Are you fucking kidding me? Mm, mm, mm. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, I got a hit marker. Oh. I don't even care, I'm using my pistol. What? <laughs> I'm complete shit at this game. Nope. Oh, okay, they got me. They got me. Hashtag recent player 2015 of making the COD video. Are you fucking kidding me? You go for me. I'm gonna play one more game, guys. I'm still functional. I'm still alive. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm struggling a bit, but I'm gonna do one more game. This hot sauce right here was $8, guys. Expensive for that. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. Okay, of course it's like the other direction I don't look. Really? Oh. I don't even... What the fuck? I don't know if I'm gonna last this whole game. No, fuck it. I can't. I can't. I need milk. That feels so good. That's great, guys. Oh, holy shit. I got milk everywhere. Holy shit. Try playing another game, but that didn't really work out whatsoever. My mouth is burning right now. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Oh, shit. Fucking done. I'm done. Fuck you. You're fucking cut. I swear I fucking got it. You're out. I've decided to pick someone up from Colt oh Rising God, to bring kid, over to what? the thrust, but I wanted to do Wait, something oh to my help God, Colt Rising YouTube, as well. I mean, you guys have a loyal Wait, fan what's... base here, so <coughs> instead of just picking up someone, we decided to have a little competition. That's right. There Wait, are just say Colt Rising? twelve Wait. different Colt content creators. Oh my God! What? So this is how the competition's gonna work. This Saturday, four videos will be uploaded to the channel. In those four videos,
three Colt Rising entertainers will compete against each other Free. for your love and support. In the description of each one of those videos, there will be a straw poll, and you will vote who makes it to the semifinals. Who's going up against each other, Colt Maltz? Right, so like we said, we have four groups of three members that are going to be battling against each other. We have Shifty, Bored, and Noxy battling against each other for the first group. Then we have Talents, Narwhal, and Raij. Uh, for the third group, we have Nova, SRK, and Auric. And for the last group, we have Joker, Blur, and Bond. Woo! No. What the fuck? Holy shit. Oh my god, what the hell was in the middle of a video in this pot? I just get to cross this. Now, what? That's. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm fucking drenched. Holy shit. What's going on, guys? It is Bond here, and I'm here with another video. And in today's video, if you can already tell by the title, yes, we're going to be talking about the first RC, but not just any RC, and not just the first RC alone. This is a specific. RC for cult directors. It's crazy how uh, cult has been given this opportunity by Keemstar and that he's realized that, well, he even said himself that there's such good directors, kind of creators as well, in cult. And you know, it, it might sound like I'm bragging about myself, but there actually is. There's so like many good people that overall in themselves just produce good content and it's it's just amazing like how wide of a range and what constantly trying to improve in that so basically i'm gonna get straight into it and um so yeah if you didn't already know on cult there was an upload by keemstar he was talking about how for the directors is going to be a specific rc and he showed the brackets i'll show that up right now the bracket there's going to be me joker and blur going against each other for the first bracket and then there's going to be like Four other like sort of sets of teams. There's gonna be four people that get to the actual semi-finals and then from the semi-finals It's gonna to lead to two people getting through and it's gonna go head-to-head -head, and then to the last person That will actually get the chance to join Frost basically explained it if you haven't don't know this already that this is going on in the community Which some people might not some people might and it's actually quite the privilege that Everyone has the chance to join for us. I know Kim will probably watch this hopefully if I don't have to re-record this and it fucking sucks because my fucking laptop can't handle the CPU. No, but basically anything like I fuck up and like uh, say it wrong or, or like will just ruin my chance of joining Frost as like, if you don't know, Akeem is quite judgmental, but sometimes he is judgmental in the right way most of the time. So anything I could like fuck up and say and yeah, would just lead to me absolutely losing this because he's going to have to pick four people out of the semifinals. And that's quite, out of like what? 15 people I believe that are like actually like t like the whole of the directors division is taking place and 15 people is quite a lot and four people to get out of that it's quite crazy and you know I've already like made some thoughts of what I would bring to thrust don't want to say that because uh, then people might steal my ideas but like I'd, if I was to join thrust it'd be really like I'd be able to put my thoughts into consideration so I wouldn't have to um yeah it'd be nice to show for the content creators what we could do and have my thoughts be put into place with other very underrated YouTubers, basically. And now you might be thinking, okay, you might you might be taking this too serious. Or it's hard, like, you know, after this happens, it's, it's only an RC. But it, it's, it's not just only an RC. This is as stupid as it may sound and as cringy as it may sound to anyone. It is quite life-changing. Like, in my pers perspective, right, if you were to win this... You, you, your goals on YouTube would just, they'd just be up there, they'd just be up there. They just, you, they'd, you'd overtake your goals. Any goals you might have, or unless you think, oh, I'm gonna be a cocky with the fuck, I'm gonna get one million subs from this or something. No, no, that's that, that's not, not too far, but just minor little goals, like maybe if someone has 100 subs and they'll, they'll probably get 1k in like the next day. And to see that, that would just be, Amazing how far someone would grow and I'm going going to completely off topic here, but it's also amazing how um, Keem is doing this for the community helping underrated people out 